Hey, I'm B. Welcome or welcome back to my channel, Sedaris LLC. I'm happy to have you here. So let's get started. I do hope you're doing well. And we're just going to get into it. What is today? October 5th. I'm kind of excited to start watching the Halloween movies. Um, like some of my favorites, Hocus Pocus, Practical Magic. Mm. And then all the Harry Potter movies, but Practical Magic is probably my favorite. <laughs> okay, let's see. Crazy storyline, too. If you're looking for something juicy, that's a good one. Somebody likes the Leprechaun Halloween movies. I'm getting that. I haven't seen those yet. Like Leprechaun in the hood or something. First out, we have Mural. Be your own first priority. Oh, people pleasing right off the bat. Maybe there's, um, you know, self-care. No, that's a term that's used a lot these days, maybe overused. But there's people-pleasing energy for sure. Don't doubt your self-worth. Be your own first priority. So somebody might be playing games with you or you may be getting, like, reeled into some sort of subconscious behavior. And um, whether it's with one person or it's a group dynamic, just watch out for that. Remember to have firm boundaries and know that if it's like, if it's a fair exchange, like know that it needs to be a fair exchange, transactional. And I'm hearing lap dog. Somebody might wanna treat you like a lap dog. What's that about? Feather, think first before you judge. So somebody could be judging too quickly or perhaps you are in a situation, but this could be people trying to size you up and then, yeah, I'm hearing that song, Dej Lo, Try Me. So somebody might be looking at you and assuming they can get over on you in a situation, bam, let them go. This could be a family member or just somebody you're connected to through like an organization or even a workplace. This is gonna be, I feel like it's about you setting personal boundaries. That's what I'm getting strongly, personal boundaries. And what else wants to come out from the oracles? Take yourself out on a date. So this can mean like maybe you're not trying to date anybody right now. Maybe you're getting to know yourself a little better. I'm hearing, I just want to know you better. So maybe somebody's hitting on you, but you don't want them like that. Or it's just making you want to figure out what it is you want. And, and maybe it doesn't have anything to do with this other person. But it's like, let me just see what I really want. Do I even want to date? If I did, would they be my type? Mm, I don't know. But here, look at that. You can manifest your every wish at the bottom of the deck there. So this is about you going within as well. Manifesting, maintaining your boundaries, not settling. These are the things coming through. Being your own first priority. Yeah, there we have. You can manifest your every wish. And then see, maybe one more. Is there one more card that wants to come out from the oracles? Yeah, like I'm getting that vibe of Marilyn Monroe and Diamonds are a girl's best friend when she's doing the musical number and all the guys are standing around her and she's just like, no, <laughs> no, 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 to each and every one of them. <laughs> Maybe some of you are just like, I can buy my own stuff. I don't really need a man's attention right now or vice versa. I'm not looking to have a woman right now. You're just doing your own thing. Working on your own confidence, perhaps, because something beautiful will come from this. Garden energy. Lovely. So the sword is there. Air energy, too. Maybe you have realized something. You're seeing the truth of a situation that's helping you do this. That's helping you set boundaries, because that's what's being emphasized here. Be your own first priority. Confidence comes with time and practice. And I feel like you've been putting in the time, and you've been putting in the practice but it's like you're doing more and more on the, the practice end, like really practicing that self-love, taking care of yourself, seeing what it is you like, you know, when it's not involving other people, like what it is you really enjoy. So that's cool. Whoa, what slid out over here? They all slid out in the reverse. 
That's the death reverse, the ace of pentacles reverse, mm -hmm. and the tower reverse. So stuck in a situation perhaps, a situation that's not adding to your life emotionally or financially, mm, something that needs to go, maybe is resurfacing. We're still in that shadow period for retrograde, okay? So keep that in mind. Um, this is in relation, I feel, to your solar plexus and perhaps sacral, and we've been getting those energies a lot, chakras. How you give to people, how you receive from people, um, and your confidence connected to those things. Yeah, what you allow. What do you allow in your energy? You know, because there are some things that are beyond our control sometimes, but there are a lot of things that are within our control. And we can control our environments by setting those healthy boundaries. So um, I don't want to be too repetitive, but that's really being driven home right now. Could be dealing with a water sign as well. All right. So let's see. What does the tarot have to say to the collective right now? I don't know if this will make sense to anyone, but Dargle? I don't know what that's about. It's that Harry Potter thing too. Luna Lovegood always had the weird names. Maybe some of you have that Luna Love Good energy, just a really sweet, unique individual. You mind your own business, you help people. Maybe even if they aren't deserving sometimes, or you just don't let their antics bother you, which is one of the best things about Luna. She just kept doing her own thing. First out, we have the Empress. Libra energy. <laughs> and then we have the Queen of Pentacles back here. So Earth energy. And then, you know, there's an earth there within the Empress too, birthing things. Finances, business. This could have to do with the business for some of you. Um, or making business deals going forward. Pickles might be significant for some reason. Pickles. Some of you might be pregnant and craving pickles. Congratulations. We have the Six of Cups here in the cross position. Yeah, or you're a mom, <laughs> you're a mom at home and you're watching like old kids shows, introducing your children to the shows you watched as kids and getting like rugrats. <laughs> Tommy Pickles. <laughs> That's funny. We have the Strength card as the focus, Leo Energy, the Judgment card here. Let's keep going for our advice and our most possible outcome. You have the Page of Swords. Hey, I like that. Lots of Leo energy here, Six of Wands. Oh my gosh, I'm getting another cartoon reference. SpongeBob, his Sweet Victory song. You might wanna, <laughs> it's so silly, but if you look it up, it's pretty triumphant, okay? SpongeBob was feeling himself. It was this thing where he was singing about Sweet Victory. Interesting. <laughs> All right, so, hey, something is, yeah, you realize something. I feel like this could be the truth coming out or you speaking your mind, but also it's a self-realization. Um, and maybe you're, you're seeing people more clearly. Some of you might be able to see through situations and people a bit more clearly now, um, and that's helping you. You're being more discerning. You're, you're not taking everything at face value. That's coming through a lot. Be your own first priority. Think before you judge. Yeah. Think before you judge, especially. And I'm getting almost the energy of um, a tricky, tricky energy. And it's, it's, it's Halloween season, so that's kind of funny in itself. But like maybe you're dealing with a group of people and the scenario I'm feeling is like, it may seem like one person is like a mean girl, but it's not that person. It could be someone who appears very, very sweet. Um, that's coming through just channeled right now. And, and you're discerning, you're not falling for the okie doke. It's like some of you are taking a step back and really observing the situation and seeing people for who they are and not just what they say or how they present themselves immediately. So you're like, okay, so this person is cranky, but maybe you're thinking at least this person is real enough to be cranky to my face. Or I know if they say something sly, I know that's what I can expect from them. But this person might be all sugary sweet to my face 
and then trying to start drama with other people behind my back. So you don't want to get too caught up worrying about all that. It's just you're observing. So I'm not feeling any worried energy here because overall you're doing your own thing collective. Your focus is the strength getting through whatever you're going through right now at this time. Some of you do have small children right now at home and that's your focus, being a strong parent, being a strong mama bear, papa bear, um, maybe looking at schools. Some of you are looking at schools for your children, but this came out in the advice column. Whatever it is, you're gonna be successful in it. And whatever situation you're trying to see through and set up those healthy boundaries, you're gonna be successful with that as well. Because you're seeing the truth of the situation. And that in itself is helping you not be stuck out in the cold. So it's like, you're gonna have to be quicker than that. Whoever's trying to play some kind of weird game, it's like pointless is what I'm feeling. Yeah, we have the 10 of swords here. So it's like been there, done that, and then the eight of cups is beneath that. So, excuse me, this commercial's on the radio right now. I don't know if you guys can hear that. But starting out with the Empress energy as the focus, this is what you're doing. So you are the Empress energy, you're embodying that right now. For some of you it's pregnancy, for some of you it's growth. It's focusing on new things. It's focusing on what you're getting done. It's it's close to the magician energy. Like it's it's you really handling your business and also feeling really good about it. Like coming alive with new ideas and figuring out how to tie things together is what I'm feeling. Crossing that would be the Six of Cups here. You could be thinking about someone, you could be reminiscing, um, but I don't see it as a blockage per se, but it is in that position. Yeah, I think what's happening here is some of you are experiencing growth in the form of like reminiscing on old situations. It's like you're thinking about something that may have happened and you're using it to properly evaluate a current situation. So what it's giving me is caution. Like you're, you're moving forward, but maybe you feel a little bit slow or feel like it's dragging just a little bit. But it's like something is becoming clearer to you now. Maybe something that happened from whenever you see this message, something that happened maybe within the past six months to a year. It's becoming more clear to you as you reflect. But it, I don't think you're letting it bother you. It's just like, oh, I kind of figured that anyway. It's the energy I'm getting. And you're moving forward. You're just kind of doing your thing because I don't think this is a situation that's necessarily stressing you out anyway. You have your focus on your family, on your businesses, on your work, on your friends. Like you're focusing on what matters. But babies are really, really significant here for some reason. And your advice is, yeah, the page of swords. So you may get some sort of message or you may deliver some sort of message, but as an advice, this is about research, about looking into something deeper. So we're gonna clarify that. And your outcome when you do is success. Clarity, victory, <laughs> sweet victory. This could be choosing a school. Some of you might be moving, I'm feeling, might be moving to a new neighborhood and trying to figure out the best uh, locations, the best parks and all that good stuff for your little ones. Interesting. Or even putting together like Halloween plans, trick or treating and, and stuff like that. So let's see, what is the Six of Cups? Cause I'm curious about the Six of Cups here and the blockage. The Queen of Pentacles has come out. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, energy. I'm hearing sitting pretty. Oh, some of you have been forced into a position of discomfort as well so that you can get back to like grind mode. Maybe some of you had been a little bit too comfortable in a situation and now you're getting back to grind mode. Yeah, like creation, creating new things. And that's why you're in this Empress energy to begin with. So it's not a bad thing, but it's also about sitting pretty is like you come to me you meet me halfway i'm not going to be like crawling and begging because boundaries are so emphasized right here some of you could be dealing with a co-parent situation where maybe you felt you were the one doing all the work 
or even like if you're a student, a group project where you were always the one doing the heavy lifting, <laughs> you're not doing that anymore. You're not gonna be carrying the, the weight alone. Breaking a karmic cycle here with equal give and take, six, eight, karmic cycle here, significant. You're breaking a cycle of maybe, I mean, people pleasing is what's coming through the most heavily. So um, good for you, that's good energy. Let's see, anything under this strength card? What's this strength card about? And you also not giving up and completing something instead of stopping it, like completing it, having the will to complete something is helping you as well. Anything for this strength card? Matters of the home, foundations. This is your focus, yeah. I don't know if you could also be redecorating with the strength and the four of wands. Somebody is like, this isn't my ideal home, but I'm gonna make it as beautiful and comfortable as I can while I'm here. And I'm also looking for another, you know, I'm, I'm gonna plan my way out of it, but while I'm here, I'm gonna make the very best of the situation. So that's coming through for somebody, but I feel like if you look for something else or when you do, you'll be really happy with your next destination. Cause yeah, you're looking at this current situation, whatever it is, like mm, there's been some, some sadness here. Or this is kind of a damper. Something about your place isn't quite as you would like it to be, but you're making the best of it. And you're yeah, focusing on, I'm hearing matters of the home and matters of the heart. Yeah, moving on to calmer waters. No more juggling, no more confusion. You're like, okay, this is what it is. I'm gonna make the very best of it while I continue to plan for the future. So that's great. Not having a defeatist attitude. That's, I feel like that's breaking the karmic cycle for some of you. You're not giving up on yourself. You're not giving up on a situation. You're just like, okay, so I might be going through this thing, but it's temporary. This I know, it's temporary. So while I'm here, I'm gonna kill it. I'm gonna make the best of it. And I'm still planning for the future. That's like passing, that's passing a test for some of you. Okay, now here we have the Page of Swords as advice. What about this Page of Swords? Knight of Pentacles. Hmm. Okay, so for some of you, this is related to some sort of partnership as well or a group, a group setting, I mean, a group of people that you were thinking about collaborating with or working with, um, research. Do some research on them. I feel like you'll find what you're looking for. If the process has been taking a really, really long time, um, diversify is what I'm getting. Diversify, spread your wings, look elsewhere. Um, don't close the door, but don't limit yourself. So there's an energy of like putting all your eggs in one basket, and that also ties into being your own priority here 1818 on the clock this is connected to prosperity and karmic cycles so if you're waiting for someone else to open a door for you don't be afraid to open your own doors this empress is here to create new opportunities for you you don't have to stay in a situation that's making you unhappy you can always map a way out and I feel like that's what you're doing as this empress energy you're mapping a way to your next destination while making the best of the current one and not letting the small things get you down is what I'm feeling like, even though it feels like it's taking a while. It's kind of what's coming through here. And that's what brings us to this Four of Cups here. Anything else for this Page of Swords and Knight of Pentacles? We have the three of pentacles. Yeah, some kind of collaboration. Yeah. <laughs> I'm hearing Barney, like what's going on with these kids songs right now? Somebody is like at home with kids while they watch this or something. I'm hearing clean up, clean up everybody everywhere. Clean up, clean up everybody do your share. Everybody do your share. Equal give and take. So this is what you're stepping into. This is the, these are the boundaries you're setting up because it does feel like maybe you had been dealing with a situation where you were overextending. And I'm also getting an energy of you dealing with people that weren't making it something very clear to you. Like 
you're not putting up with that anymore. You're saying what you need to say. You're asking for clarity when it comes to you. You're not sitting on it. If something's taking a little bit too long, you're not going to say, well, I'll just sit here and wait until they get back to me. You're going to be like, okay, they can get back to me when they want to. But in the meantime, I'm going to go here. I'm going to go there. I'm going to go here and, and, and make all these other arrangements for potential growth. Somebody is thinking of themselves now as an entity. And when you think of yourself as an entity, it's like, what am I doing to benefit my entity? Because that's what I am. What am I doing to benefit future me? I'm not waiting on somebody else to give me the, the answer. So this could be about, you know, working with someone to get a certain position, like a certain job. This could be about wondering if you're invited to something and then being like, well, screw you. I'm just gonna go do something else with my other friend or I don't know where that came from, but that could be for somebody. Um, not putting all your eggs in one basket. I might make that the title because really that's what's coming through as well. And some kids. <laughs> There's kids involved here somewhere, but I think it's just like, you could be a parent. <laughs> you might be a parent, because I'm getting like kids shows, <laughs> music and stuff. We got Spongebob, even though I wouldn't really call Spongebob a kid show. But kids don't understand what's going on in the show, but Spongebob is totally for adults, I think. So maybe you watch it. So what about this outcome as the Six of Wands? Boop. <laughs> Nine of Pentacles, excellent. That's Virgo energy, I believe. Clarifying this Leo energy, you could have both heavily in your chart. And then we have some water energy here too with the Knight of Cups. Oh, I'm hearing Goapale, higher, closer to my dreams. Mm -hmm. So some of you know that it's better for you to work independently. Some of you know that it's better for you to grow your business independently. Or, you know, if you may ask for advice, but you're going to do your own research as well to make sure that you're getting the full picture because the full picture is important here too. Even this kind of looks like, even though she's getting ready to walk outside, take yourself out on a date. It's like she's looking at the bigger picture, connecting with her own spirit team. You see the bird flying by there. You could have air in your chart heavily, but it's like, let me just, before I jump into this one thing, let me evaluate my options and do what's best for me, which is a beautiful energy to be in. And it's fairly new, fairly new for some of you. And also there's, there is, I can't front, there's somebody trying to come around maybe and date you and they do have like some kind of something going on already, but I feel like you're not tripping because you're not that interested anyway. So let's pull some angel cards to close this up. Yeah, King of Pentacles, Page of Swords again. Could be dealing with um, a masculine earth sign, not necessarily, it just depends. I'm hearing she'll be coming around the mountain when she comes. I could be dealing with the Sagittarius because I just saw the uh, Ten of Wands in my mind's eye. Yeah, whatever tough situation you've been dealing with, especially about like finances, that's coming through again. It's like you are coming around that mountain, running up that hill. So congratulations, keep going. It's, it's benefiting you. Um, let's see, from the Angel cards, any advice for the collective right now? I'm hearing your positive attitude is helping you. And um, it's also helping you see through illusions. Like you're, you're just in a really good vibration because of the self-care you've been doing. And that's also helping you see through illusions. We got a lot. We got the king of wands, the hangman, the wheel, six of pentacles again, strength again, Page of Swords again. <laughs> Seven of Wands, yes. Mm -hmm. And the Ten of Cups. So this is defense. This is not defensive energy, but it is you protecting yourself, and you are also protected. So you having these healthy boundaries is you standing up for yourself. And um, yeah, so basically, this is just saying keep doing what you're doing because you're doing a very good job. 
being strong through something that hasn't been very easy. Your outcome is going to be really beneficial to you. Um, your patience and your positivity are going to pay off and your thoroughness. Remember, think of yourself as an entity. Think of yourself as a business entity. Is what I'm doing helpful to me right now? Is this helpful to me? Like I'm giving this much, what are they doing for me? And it, it's not bad to think that way. So some of you may have grown up always having to give and you feel selfish when you set up those kind of boundaries. But that's a good boundary for you too, to be like, there has to be some give and take as well. So I need to be taking something sometimes. I can't always just be giving. And I think that's what some of you are realizing. Whether it comes to dating, finances, co-parenting, whatever. You're, you're getting those pieces in place and your confidence is growing as you do it. Lovely. That's what I have for you guys. I hope that it's made sense for you and that you've been able to get something good from it. Thank you for all the love you've been showing my channel. I so appreciate it. And until next time, all is well, and I'll see you guys. Bye.